I'm working with a brand new investor from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm going to show him how he can start his real estate portfolio by performing bird deals like this one. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm James Wise. I'm your host, and today we are working from a new, working for my man Jonathan from New York. He is a new investor, right? We are working for this new investor, man. You are ready to rock and roll, brother. You have thirty thousand uh, dollars in your bank account right now, in your hand. In addition. You are going to be adding to that monthly, and you're interested in working with hard money lenders, okay? For those of you out there who've never heard the term hard money lenders, what that is is people who are in the business of loaning money to real estate investors, and they're focusing their loans mainly on the asset, right? In this case, this, this old, ugly, nasty house, right? They're focused on the asset, not necessarily your credit, uh, and your income as much. They do factor that in, yes, but they're they're really looking at the deal. They're really going to analyze the deal, and if the deal's got teeth, they're going to be interested in loaning you guys money. We have access to those kind of lenders for you guys, so anybody who's watching this right now, just send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Ask us for our list of lenders. And, of course, Jonathan, I'm going to get you that list as well. I'm emailing you this video in a private link before it goes live on Holton Wise TV. So I will have included that list for you as well. And what you're trying to do, brother, you're trying to do some bird deals, right? Now, you're going to have to use financing. OK, because you can't do a bird deal in Cleveland with only 30 K. Right. You're going to need to utilize your 30 K. And then you're also going to need to utilize some type of lending. Right. Because this is actually probably the cheapest bird deal uh, that we can try to put together right now. And that's going to require a lot more than thirty thousand dollars. Right. So this house, this is all I got. This this picture this is the only picture we have. And when you're trying to do bird deals, you need to understand. Right. Don't anticipate that the seller is going to wrap it up in a beautiful bow for you, right? You're buying properties from distressed sellers, guys, so don't think it's going to be this beautiful turnkey, uh, wonderfully done presentation, right? That's that's what I'm here to help you with, right? I'm here to help you put the pieces together because if if they had the ability or the wherewithal to put all those pieces together for you guys, they wouldn't be selling at a price that would allow us to go ahead and, uh, you know, hit those uh, equity positions and, and make that money and pull off these bird deals, which I know it's a little late. I've been talking about it for a minute, but if for some reason there's a few of you out there who are watching this right now and you're like, what in the fuck is a bird deal? It's an acronym. It's a B and four R's, guys. It stands for buy, renovate, refinance or buy renovate rent refinance and repeat okay even i get a little confused on on how the acronym works but essentially what it means is you buy yourself a crummy property that needs a lot of love check this is definitely a crummy property that needs a lot of love right like if you guys take a look at these weeds i mean you know th this hasn't been taken care of all that well right so you buy a crummy property then you renovate the property and the idea is for the cost to buy it and the cost to renovate it to be less than what the bank considers it to be worth so you're able to refinance your money back out and of course in between there you put a tenant in there because that's the name of the game once you uh, get your refinance you take that cash and you do it again and again and again and that's how you can build large real estate portfolios right because a lot of people you know they find out you got to put down 25 percent on these rentals and they're like okay it's great i got to put down 25 percent so uh, I could buy one rental and then I can't buy another rental for like 10 years. This business is very slow moving, right? So doing the bird deal, it allows you to take that original amount of money and keep recycling it over and over and over again, right? So that that's what you got to do. So for this particular one, John, what we have is this house, 3593 West 50th, Cleveland, 44102, been on the market for three weeks. They've listed it at 41.9, as I already mentioned there's no other information, no description, no additional pictures. So we have to go into this assuming 
the house is all jacked up and you're going to have to do a full renovation, which is very, very likely. It's very unlikely, based upon what I'm seeing right now, that there's any part of this home you're not going to have to renovate. So with that said, the price, I think we need to go in with all your 30K. All your 30K, your cash, right? Let's try to pick it up for your cash. I don't want to make the seller an offer contingent on that hard money loan, brother. I want to make them a cash offer. You have $30,000. A cash offer is so much stronger than a, a finance offer. So that will uh, give the center, the seller rather, the incentive to, to give us that discount, which is what I think we need, right? So if you put up your cash and do a $30,000 cash offer, I would then like you to go to the hard money lender after you own the house and try to get them to loan you $35K, putting you all in at 65 k What do I want you to spend that 35 k on? Well, what we need to do on this particular property, brother, I want to spend $20,000 on an interior renovation. You should not assume that this beat to hell house has any like parts that you don't need to renovate, right? To get it ready to go for a Section 8 tenant. Floors, walls, kitchen, bath, okay? That's going to be about $20,000. Then, in addition to that, I have gone ahead and assumed you're going to have to spend another three on a furnace, a new furnace install, another $1,000 on a new hot water tank install, probably $7,000 on this roof. I would not assume, based upon everything else, that that's going to be a new roof. Then another two k on upgrading that electrical. And then I got another two k just like, yo, what's up? It's a, it's a big house. It's a big renovation, right? This is going in and assuming the worst, right? So $35,000. That puts you all in at $65,000. Now, of course, we're going to verify all this, and we're going to get you a general home inspection. And really, the only thing we're really looking for in this general home inspection, because I'm assuming all the other stuff is going to, uh, you know, be things you're going to have to touch. What we're really looking for is to make sure there's no major structural issues with the home. Because if there's structural issues with the home requiring foundation work, it's going to blow the budget. It's going to kill the deal. We're going to want to move on, right? So we'll get that due diligence done. Hey, lenders. Our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. After that renovation, though, what you should anticipate, because it's a four-bed, one-bath house, is an $1,100 Section 8 tenant. After you get that tenant in there, we have a fully renovated asset. I anticipate you spending about $476 a month on those expenses, leaving you with an NOI of six and a quarter, on average $7,500 a year, just a little shy of $7,500 a year. With your $65,000 investment, brother, that's an 11 and a half cap. And because we have this beautiful, brand new, renovated house with all the fixings, man, we got the furnace, we got the hot water tank, we got the roof, we got the $1,100 tenant. The bank, even though you only spent 65 G's, I think the bank's going to praise this bastard at 75 G's. If they do that, they're going to give you back 56 and a quarter, meaning you only have to keep 8750 of your original $30,000 into the deal, thus making that a 53% return on your money. That's why people love the burst strategy. That's why I think it could work. And, John, of course, as you know, my team, we can do all that for you, right? You reply to this uh, email where I privately sent you the video. We'll put in that offer. My team will be the guys who can go in and perform that $35,000 renovation. That is my general cost estimate on that. And don't think that that's just like parts or just labor, right? That's the whole shebang. That's, that's not like, yo, it's $35,000 in materials, but your ass has to fly in from New York to do the rental. No, 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 don't worry, brother. We're a licensed construction company. That's my team handling everything for you. We should be able to come in at $35K. Then we'll put your tenant in there on the Section 8 program, help you with the refinance into a traditional loan, no longer that hard money loan. Those are short-term loans, guys. What you really need to do at the end is refinance it out with a traditional lender, which we also have. So send that email to sales at holtonweiss.com if you want our list of lenders, hard money, traditional, private, otherwise, right? We have them all, even lenders for foreign nationals, right? You get that beautiful 30-year financing on that low interest, right? That's why people love the bird deals. That's why you're targeting that. But I didn't want that to be the only thing um, 
uh, on your radar, John. So what I did is I also found another deal that I think you could start your portfolio in the Cleveland market without even having to use a hard money loan. Because, guys, the one negative to hard money loans is, A, they're short term, and, B, they're very high interest. You may talk to some of those hard money lenders and find that you don't want to pay those kind of interest rates. So what I did, John, is I got another property for you that's not going to require any hard money lender, and you can do the deal with your cash, your $30,000 cash. So we're going to take a look at that property now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.